Hello. Good evening. I realized like my bras were like hanging in the background. <laughs> Oopsie. Sorry, guys. Um, can you hear the fan? It's like really loud or is it fine? Oh, can you hear my fan? Oh, good. I have like no air conditioning right now. So I'm just like, I have a lot of fans going on. Why don't you have AC? It's a whole thing, but basically our like HVAC systems just. Well, I hope it's fixed in August. Thanks. I'm going to Texas for the next three weeks. So it's fine. I'll be away. It's time to figure its shit out. Yeah. My sister will do it. <laughs> um, Welcome to Retired Fangirls Yay. podcast episode 10 double digits i can't believe it it's kind of crazy like we're kind of consistent with it like we kind of did that (laughs) (laughs) i mean it's still going for now unless the hate unless the haters come get us it's honestly hilarious that people are hating for no reason sorry we got on the wrong side of youtube sorry that you hate to see a pretty girl win real (laughs) because <laughs> why can men have podcasts and say sexist stuff and it's fine but and they're mad at us for saying what that we didn't like the disney remakes like what are you mad at us about we're talking about a book like it's not even the controversial ones like they just know. <laughs> the normal takes that we have like the idol is ass and people will be like this is why women don't don't deserve the right to vote and you're like yeah for context people we keep getting re- rude comments and this one guy was like we should have never allowed women to vote over like i don't even know what we were talking about probably like laundry you know something just simple it was shocking <laughs> but also hilarious it's silly and then I posted a reel of us being like oh my god they called us a rando but we were the heroes of Olympus channel and everyone was like I hate the way this person acts like you guys are randos like it's a joke love also why do you care no I'm literally like what what in your head were you why do people say I'm gonna comment something on this random stranger's post and if I'm a rando, then just scroll. Why do you care that I'm running my mouth? It's not, I'm not even hating that hard, except apparently we were hating on Taylor Swift, even though we're all big Taylor Swift fans here. We both literally went to the Arrows tour. My birthday party is Taylor Swift themed. Like, yeah. clearly we love this woman. Yes. And whatever people don't understand but we're just here to have fun we're here to be positive and we love everyone so (laughs) be who you are right and so in the interest of positivity we're going to rank the percy jackson characters um (laughs) and put them into a tier list and um some of these are from books that we have not read so get ready for our takes on that before we do that, do you have any like fun things to talk about while I pull this up? No, my birthday is just on Friday. Happy B Day! Thanks, 24. 24. Um, so I have the characters up because they said they pulled them all from okay. com slash characters. So if we come to one and we're stumped, I'll find it and we'll talk about who it is. Okay, I'm pulling it the tier list up effect Um, i've been playing a lot of webkins recently (laughs) yeah um i've been playing the pizza game specifically in the arcade and i feel like a real businesswoman like i'm making business decisions um but it also stresses me the hell out sometimes she's a working woman she's trying to upgrade to have two ovens so that she can finish baking good for you honestly thank you yeah I've just been watching movies as usual. I binged some of the Insidious movies because the fifth one is coming out. There's a bunch of lore that I'm now learning. That's really fun. Yeah. And then I watched No Hard Feelings, the Jennifer Lawrence movie. I heard it's really good. Really funny. Okay. 
there's like one scene where where she's like skinny dipping with a kid and then some teenagers like steal her clothes and she just like beats them up like fully nude like you can see it all (sighs) okay jennifer lawrence (laughs) she said fuck it it was just really unexpected and i was like i'm having a good time like everything is hilarious so yeah that movie was fun um let me share my screen and i'm gonna lose y'all hi everyone before you get into the ranking just wanted to call a couple things out kaylee and i went into this without preparing uh we just wanted to see where the characters would fall without rereading without googling we joked about looking them up after and we have since started editing and i wanted to just highlight a content warning and um correct a couple things before we get into it. We did misgender two characters. So the first character that we misgendered um, is Alex from the Magnus Chase series. We refer to Alex as he, him, and as boyfriend Magnus Chase. And Alex is a gender fluid character. So um, this character prefers to use the pronouns that match the gender expression for the day. And um, we just referred to them exclusively as a boy and that is not the case. Um, and then the other character is Joe from the Trials of Apollo series. We just were not looking closely. We were not paying enough attention. Joe is a woman and we refer to her as a man. So just wanted to totally call that out, say our bad, we were not prepared um, and give you guys a content warning. So when those characters come up, um, we do misgender them and very sorry for doing that. We always will strive to do better um, and hopefully we can get past that. You can still enjoy the video. If you don't, we understand. Let us know and we'll fix whatever we can. But thank you. All right, here we go. All right, I have no idea who this is. Okay, that first person is from the Kane Chronicles. Her name is Samira Al Abbas. We cannot speak to her character. I don't know if she's a hero or a villain. I'm going entirely based off vibes. Mm. She seems pretty chill. She's got the axe. She's looks cool. Um, I do not remember a single thing from Kane Chronicles. So not Kane Chronicles. Magnus Chase. Oh, Sorry. Magnus Chase. Yeah, okay. I think I misspoke. Um. Okay, we can put her in. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's put her in. Okay, We're and like- maybe she deserves to be higher. Let us know in the comments. You can be mean about this ranking because we know nothing about her. Like, disclaimer, yes, we are Percy Jackson fans, but we're, like, OG Percy Jackson fans, and we're not caught up on... Right. It's Percy and Heroes. So, sorry for our lack of knowledge. Um, which follows up with this bitch, her name is Kayla Knowles. She is from the Trials of Apollo. Okay. Who do we think her godly parent is? I don't know. I don't know. She's got a bow and arrow. It's giving (laughs) Apollo. Yeah she got that she got that archer going on um (laughs) why are we guessing (laughs) put her in okay yeah (laughs) is this ethan it is um nakamura i mean he's a a good good character he's kind of cool to me personally uh yeah i mean it's kind of cool that he has one eye yeah we can say good okay um, and then I think no questions asked. This God is- tier. Are these the Stoll brothers? I think they're good tier. I yeah, I would. I don't think there's enough of them to put them in great. I Do you agree. think they're above or below Ethan? I think they're above. No. I think above. You think above? Yeah, just because like, we like them. I'm just like very fond of them, but yeah. So but let's put them they don't have to be great. Let's keep me. these tiers in order. Okay. So, what do you think? Good tier would be Connor and Travis and then Ethan. So you just like switch the order. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Yes. Um okay. cool. Rachel Elizabeth Dare. I love her in the later books, but I'm gonna tell you when I was a child and I was oh, yeah. reading The Battle of the Labyrinth. Oh, I wanted her dead. No, literally. <laughs> Um, I want her dead. I'm not like I don't like love the shit out of her. I love the shit out of Ren, and I think that yeah. is clouding my judgment. Ren played Rachel Elizabeth Dare on our Chan Chan back in the day. The Chan Chan. 
that's how I felt about us re- ranking the stoles because of Julian. I'm like, I know. I mean, Travis <laughs> talked not. about deer, but I don't think Travis stole it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say, I want to say good, but then like, good's like. I want to say top of good, almost great. We can, yeah, let's do top of good for now and then we can reevaluate. Yes. This is Lester Papadopoulos. Oh, okay, that's him. Yes. Um. Uh. The first book that I read, I honestly hated him. I don't think I hate him, but I'm not. You're not amazing, you know. Like bottom of okay tier for Mr. Lester, Mr. Apollo on Earth. Or do you think he deserves to be higher? No, I'm fine with that. I'm okay. okay. Is this? Octavian? Yeah, shit tier. Get that bitch out of here. <laughs> and then Calypso. Okay. I don't know. So she I thought she was really interesting and compelling in the Battle of the Labyrinth. I just reread it. Um and the her and Percy situation was really interesting. And I think when it started with Leo, I was like, oh, like what's going on here? But I don't he, she kind of demolished his character not his fault it's obviously Rick Riordan's fault but I didn't like them super together but I love Taya so again yeah (laughs) what are your thoughts kind of the same like I thought she was really interesting like Battle Labyrinth when we first met her I'm like Mm -hmm. OMG like I want her to find her love and then when it became Leo I was like oh Mm." yeah (laughs) I was like did it need to be you know? I don't know, but also like her not getting freed, even though Percy like explicitly said that in the last Olympian, mm-hmm. is also like what the fuck was going on there? Like, why are you here if there's not gonna be a change for you? I think that she's justifiably angry, and she is like so pissy when Leo gets to the island, and yeah. I like that development. And I haven't read that far into the Trials of Apollo for when they come back so that would probably be the deciding factor but I like her a lot where do you where do you think she should go I'd say good great okay I'd say great like if I was young, my younger self I would say great because I just think she's like really unique mm-hmm. but up to you um let's put her in great we have no one there might as well balance the scales true Mr. Leo. <laughs> Bad boy extreme or whatever. Also, I another disclaimer, I have not read these books in maybe 10 years. <laughs> so I'm this is just big vibes. It's big who are these people in the fandom's eye, basically? Not really who are they in the text. Yeah, okay. Um, I love Leo. He's just fun. He is fun. He's kind of a little shit, though. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, like, in love with him. hmm But he's silly good. Good tier under Rachel. I think people will be so mad at us for this. They can be mad. <laughs> but if I you would, think there's to be higher, I, I will follow you, baby girl. I would be happy with great. Okay. We can put him in great. Okay, just because I don't know, like, seeing him next to their, like, pretty minor characters. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can reevaluate. Is who... This is Meg. Okay, she's from Magnus. No, she's from Charles of Apollo. I get them confused. (laughs) I think she's fine. She's, like, a cutesy little girl, right? She's a little girl, but I don't remember her being cutesy. I think she's oh, very she's cutesy. Isn't she anti cutesy or is she cutesy? I can't remember. Let us know. Her, I... her not like other girls' face mix like, up. Yeah, no, is she like kind of like bratty? Not bratty, but snippy. She, I think she starts off being Apollo's companion, kind of like setting up for a trio with her and Apollo, but then she goes to the other side. Oh. <laughs> Correct me if I'm oh, wrong. I think that I might be. We're but... like making shit up. Right now. <laughs> this is a plot, according to Megan Quill. <laughs> we can 
put her in o- the end of okay. Throw her in with all the rings. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm so sorry, people. Um, sorry to Meg. To me, personally, Thalia is a god to me. Just She was, like, my favorite character growing up. I Honestly. loved her growing up. Um, She's such a bitch, though. <laughs> like, yeah. she's mean to Percy for no reason. <laughs> I mean, she's so real for that. <laughs> yeah she is maybe it's a Poseidon Zeus feud thing but it was so yeah. like when I reread Titans Girls I was like why is like she's such a gun I love her she's serving she honestly does yeah mm-hmm. um I'd put a great or god personally her and god throw her up there with Annabeth they belong to be together that's true besties true true Tyson is a god to me Tyson is a god and if you don't think he is you're burning in hell yeah yeah fuck oh okay hold on i just saw his picture dude i don't know any of these people hold on i hope that you guys watching at home if you're watching the video version are enjoying this view of my face his name is blitzen he is from magnus chase and the gods of asgard it's giving santa yeah like donner and blitzen uh okay I like the okay. color of his shirt. <laughs> me too. I like the... He looks friendly to me. He looks suave. Yeah. <laughs> I, w- I want to put him in the top of okay tier. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Not of these random people that we don't know. Apologies to the fandom. Um. All right. Purple shirt. Purple shirt. Sorry to all the Spotify and Apple people <laughs> that I can't see, but we're we're naming the characters. We're looking for this guy. This guy's name is Joe. He okay. is wearing green overalls and a purple button-up shirt, if you're listening along at home. Um, I know nothing about Joe. He is from The Trials of Apollo. Okay. Uh... <laughs> he it's even got a <laughs> yeah <laughs> what, like where the fuck else am I well, supposed definitely to I thought it was fun I like the beat I love the purple I think it looks great Wait, why is this guy back here again I don't know <laughs> like, why are there multiple I don't know the okay. well, red and white scarf his name is hearthstone he's from Magnus Chase I think I remember him oh my god this is huge ladies and gents she remembers him but don't remember his character at all do you remember vibes is it is the name hearthstone evoking anything for you no not at all should all we right. look up <laughs> he looks go. like i don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy i feel like if we have time at the end we'll google the okay tier and figure out where they <laughs> really are. yeah i don't want to think we'll just put him in okay who the fuck are you her name is georgina she is from the trials of apollo she looks sweet and kind and little okay <laughs> i like that she has marks she's holding two markers and a notebook in her hand um i'm putting her <laughs> she's going in okay tier we should have she's just like... done the percy jackson and and heroes of olympus because we haven't read uh bianca uh, Bianca is great tier, if not God tier. I love her. I'm good with great, just because she's not, you know, we don't see her for that long. That's true, but her, keep her in great. Um, okay. But her impact on the rest of the books is so vast, especially with Nico, like little baby's character. True, true, true. Mm-hmm. Uh, Frank. I love Frank. I love Frank. I have no complaints greater god fine with either i think he's probably great me too i just don't know if he belongs up there with the gods you know yeah uh grova listen it might ruffle some feathers but god tier the golden trio is god tier i know like you gotta have to put all three of them there what am i supposed to do put grover down with his empathy link with percy like no no, and I'm putting Percy here already. <laughs> so we have the golden trio up in the god tier now, guys. They're all next to each other because they love each other and they're besties. Who is... That is Chiron. Oh, 
Um, wow, he's kind of cutesy. I know. Why did they make him kind of sexy? No, like, why are you a dill? No, no why literally. Why are you E I L F a centaur? I'd like to. <laughs> literally, he oh. looks so, so good. Me as a grown up reading Tracy Jackson, I have different crushes now. I guess. <laughs> You no. cannot show me a picture of a bearded man with like dark features with long curly hair and not expect me to be in love. I'm sorry. That's, and and that's the facts of the case. Um, <laughs> she did not have to make Chiron look like that, but she did. Oh, and he's yeah. hot as hell. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, he's kind of a god. Like, so he literally like he belongs and he trained them. Yeah, like he's the reason. He's him. And he trained Achilles. He's literally him. He's that girl. And he's so hot in that pic. I, it would no, be I'm not over it. <laughs> no, why did she but do it What is like this that? revelation? Schmexy. Is this, this is Zia Rashid. Yeah. I remember her from Kane Chronicles. I remember she was vibey, but I don't remember anything else about her. Is she the one that Carter is in a relationship with? I think so. I thought she was like cool girl. Yeah. Okay. But not cool girl like would put other girls down. Yeah, I'm okay with like putting her in the good here. Okay. Put her up there with unless, Eason. Unless people remind us if she did something shitty. I don't know. Again, uh, put it in the comments and we will print retractions and edits in our next episode. <laughs> like going into this blind. Zoe, love you. Blurb, literally a constellation. Bob okay. says hello. Put her in great tier. I'm okay. Yeah, that's good. Is this Nico? No, this is oh. Anubis. Isn't that oh. so scary? Okay. I oh, was like, like, this is Nico. Love him. No. Everyone was in love with him. Like, yeah, I mean, but isn't it weird that like this god was in love with a 16 year old girl? A little. But like, but he's like a bad boy. Like he's like, ooh, the god of death. Uh, he's like, eh. Eh. <laughs> so I don't know what what's the vibe with you. Good tier. Good. Yeah, I'm okay with good. Yeah, just you know, honor our past selves. Yeah, I'm sure. I thought I, he was really cool. Reading. I like believe that I was into him. I can't imagine a world where I wasn't. Oh yeah, same. Hazel. Love Hazel. I think she belongs with Frank. Yes, agreed. She's so good, and I love Tatiana, and that is always going to cloud my judgment, but I, she's, like, great, and I love her, but she also, you know, yeah, she doesn't always do too much. Who? That is Sadie Kane. Oh, okay, Queen. Mm-hmm. I like her. I didn't do where's Carter? Carter. Oh, I see him. He's next to Clarice. He's like hella dark and Sadie's like hella white. Uh, yeah, I don't understand how the genetics work. I don't think that Rick Riordan does either. Um, I don't know either. <laughs> oh well. I never questioned it, honestly. Sometimes um, you don't need to question it. Yeah, I mean it's fictional. She so, was cool. You remember her? I thought her and Carter were like, I like them. Oh, you're talking about Sadie. I thought you were talking about the next person. Um, no, I liked Sadie. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with putting like Sadie and Carter and like good great. Yeah, I think maybe like the Rachel is with Dare we reevaluate where they really belong yeah. at the end. I'm gonna put them both there. And I don't know. Who are you? That's Emmy from the Trials of Apollo. It's, you know, an old woman with a bow. What can I say? That's God tier. She's probably fucking badass. Literally. I love her. I think in good conscience, I can't put her in God tier because I don't know her, but I would like to put her in great tier just for the vibes. Yeah, I'm here for it. Okay. Uh, Who's this Brazilian man? Paolo. Also yeah. from the Trials of Apollo. There are apparently a lot of characters He's in the so Trials of Apollo. <laughs> I mean, he looks okay. Throwing him in okay, too. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, there's some... who. The next one is Selena, I believe. Oh, yeah, my queen. I love her. I love her so much. 
I like have so much love for her. I mean, we're Let's both anxiety see. girls. Like yes. she's I'm being putting her in a photo shoot this summer, you know? Yeah, I'm putting her in God. Yeah, I agree. And she was the traitor. Like, how God tier is that? Clarice. God. Clarice belongs with Selena a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. The Achilles and Patrick's moment will stand out in my brain for the rest of eternity. Sure. This is from Magnus Chase. His okay. name is Alex Fierro. He's giving love interest. Mm. I think he and Magnus are in love. I'm making shit up again. Correct me if I'm wrong. But that's the vibes that I'm getting. And I think Magnus is like bi or something. Unsure. You well, know how they, you know every <laughs> character's queer. They're all... <laughs> literally this book is for the lgbtq community be who you are <laughs> we'll put him in okay again because we're fake fans sorry all right Ooh, i love piper mclean that's my fucking girl i mean i love her uh, i don't know if i put her in god no that's okay she can go at the top of grade okay the next one is not Rachel Elizabeth Dare. It is Mallory Keene from Magnus Chase. Girl, who are you? She looks mean. Are we putting her in shit with... <laughs> no, I want to put her in shit. I was like, Octavian's the only one who belongs in who shit. everyone's in okay. Okay, Nico. I love Nico. Me too. Baby boy. Probably a god, honestly. I I can't argue with that. Like, I don't know. There's no reason for him not to be. And he's just like a little baby. Is this Coach Hedge? Yes, it is. He's fun. He's, you know, he's good. I, I feel like good tier. Who the... Oh, is that Thomas Jefferson? What? Thomas Jefferson's in in uh, Magnus Chase. Right? Oh my god, it is Thomas Jefferson Jr. Yeah. We have him at camp. He hangs out with us. Mm, okay. Where does he belong? You're the uh, expert. Actually, I don't know anything about him. <laughs> but maybe good? Okay. Okay. Put that bitch in good tier. And then is this Will? This little blondie, yeah. Um, I like good. I like good for Will. Yeah. I mean, he's not... A, well, we didn't read the latest... I uh, Listen, I need to be caught up on Trials of Apollo, and I'm working to get there before I can read that one, but I'm sure I'll fall in love with William after yeah. I read The Son of the Star. I think I need to see more of him, but he's probably... Mm -hmm. Reyna, queen, to me. Yeah, badass. I don't know if she's a god to me personally. I don't know either. I'd put great. Yeah, I agree. This uh, blonde person with a sword. No, that's Magnus Chase. Oh. <laughs> good. Great. I feel like good. Okay. He's just, you know, chilling. Yeah, he's cool. uh, and then Jay. Wait, is that Jason? No, that's Luke. Oh, that's Luke. Um, arr, fuck you. Listen, listen. Okay his actions he deserves shit tier for them but i get it you know like i don't think he was all that wrong in yeah. what he was saying and i think he's a very compelling and human villain he was like literally possessed too well and like he was possessed because hermes is a shit dad lin manuel miranda answer for your crimes um well, yeah <laughs> my encanto <laughs> um so like as a character i think luke is a god tier character but as a person he's shit tier so i'll defer to you on where you think he belongs in the chart i think he's interesting i know he's so compelling okay. we love a good villain um i put maybe okay you think he belongs with the randos I wouldn't put him in shit, but I wouldn't put him in good. Okay, we need to decide right now. Is this character or is this person? What do you mean? Like, like his... 
yeah are we saying like his personality wait let's add a row <laughs> you can add a row above shit tier for bad person good character i think something like that and that's where it yeah. belongs do we just call it luke <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah because it's it's complicated right like what am i supposed to do yeah bearded man looking oh, very half viking. born gunderson he looks very viking to me yes he is um from the norse one magnus chase um can we just put him in okay <laughs> yeah throw that bitch in okay tier okay jason i i don't know people people don't like him huh yeah but it's not about the people it's about us you know and we have such a tumultuous relationship with jason cosplayers he's not significant to me though i think he can be such a bland character because he's just like powerful white guy but i also heard someone say that he could take percy in a fight and that felt like heresy he also just like dies (laughs) <laughs> spoiler alert but yeah so i don't know um i put them in like good or great also we have 10 minutes left on the zoom oh my god we need to zip through these. Need okay. To hurry up. okay let's put them in good good okay next Char- i love charlie beckendor god god okay uh, who else is this who's that did we do this guy Oh, Honestly, I, don't I think we, we got all the like Heroes of Olympus, Percy Jackson ones. Oh, well, wait. we did Juniper. Juniper, she's like great, good. She's fine. She's not really in it. Yeah, I'll put her in good. Okay. Oh, that's Walt Stone. That is Sadie's boyfriend from this guy. Uh, yeah, with the gold necklace. Oh, I don't remember him. He's just Sadie's boyfriend. Um. I think everyone else is a repeat anyway. Yeah. All right. This is our cheer list right now, people. And uh, where did you put Juniper? I put her in good. Yeah, I think that's fair. So just to recap, the god tier, Percy, Annabeth, Grover, Thalia, Tyson, Daddy, Zaddy, Chiron, <laughs> Selena Beauregard, Clarice LaRue, Piper, and Nick nico and charlie was up there right yes mm-hmm. you want to do that i'm happy with that i think that that's reasonable i think people are kind of gonna be like the heroes of olympus trio should be up there but i just don't think that the seven could ever compare to the trio after trio that we were getting in the original series agreed like you'll you had to be there it was life changing. Yeah, and then everyone else is like good or okay because we don't know half of these characters, <laughs> or they weren't in it enough. And Luke is in a tier all his own, as he should be, honestly. Yeah, because what are you supposed to do with that? And then also him implying that he had a crush on Annabeth at the end. What was yeah, that about? I'm like, girl, you're a little creepy. Like you're. He's twelve. Well, I guess she's 16 at the end, but, like, still, she was seven when you met her. Like, that's so, almost a 10-year gap. <laughs> yeah, I'm not happy with that. I'm not about it, personally. Mm-mm. And the only person Mm-mm. in our shit tier is Octavian. I mean, what do you expect? He's, like, the really only horrible, horrible character Rick wrote. And it's not even that he's, like, just a bad, like, Luke is a bad person, but Octavian, like, no redeeming qualities. You're just like, okay. Unless, correct us if we're wrong, again, in Magnus or Charles Apollo, if there are any other terrible characters like Octavian. But. Yeah, not sure what to do with that, but. If we do ever end up reading all these, we should do a re- redo yeah. this. <laughs> They're probably should... completely opposite. Like the the middle tiers are gonna be like. <laughs> we should also um do the books. Yes, I think mm-hmm. the books would be way e- easier. 
yeah that would be very interesting or we could do like a draft like mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of people like draft a team so we could just like draft yeah. our dream book team and so we go back and forth and pick our favorites that'd be a slay mm -hmm. okay ideas ideas leave more ideas in the comments let us know what you are thinking yes I will be again I'm in Texas I'm visiting Camp Half Blood and going back home so we might not record for a while but hope y'all are having a good summer and yeah thanks for hanging out with us wait did, um, did be real go off hold on I'm yeah I just did my be real did you watch me take it <laughs> I hate how slow it is Megan posted us while I was fully cheer listing a beer be real time be real um but yeah bye people hi leave your favorite hate comment down below if you leave love a hate comment me. it means you love us leave a heart if you think women should be allowed to vote <laughs> And leave a broken heart if you think they shouldn't. Oh, oh. dramatic. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start. Oh.